Well, this is The Long Road, and it's a very short little story, and it's the last one in, in the book. And what it's about, it's about the way I've been inspired by Buddhism, really, and my... I'm not sure of many things, but what I am sure about is that you have to be prepared to abandon your personality and open yourself up to other things and other people and not to police the boundaries of your personality too rigorously. And that's what happens to Sarah in this story. The Long Road This moment had been a long time coming. Sarah was driving along a dark road and her car suddenly spluttered and stopped. Doubtless, it was her own fault. Inadequate servicing, low petrol, careless flux use, all that. Whatever the cause, she was in a pickle, for sure. The dark forest was on either side, the moonlight was sharp. The little animals in the undergrowth scattered and scurried about their business. She switched on the car radio and an unfamiliar voice spoke to her. Sarah? Sarah? Listen to me well. The heart is never really broken. The mind can always be healed. The body is a vehicle for both love and death. Walk out into the starlight now and lose yourself. It's time. Leave the car. She opened the car door and felt a momentary chill. The silvery road ran forwards and backwards in the moonlight. She took a path into the wood and came to a clearing. The stars could be seen better here. She stood, head back, arms wide, and let their light stream into her. The end of the journey was here. Who she had been, who she was now, ceased in that moment. The brightness was warm. The boundaries were dissolved. The bliss was inexorable. There was no more, Sarah. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy these stories. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.